All right, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the uh, build of our van. And it is a hot one today. So today we are looking at 101 outside and we're probably topped off. I think it was supposed to be 102. And then on the uh, inside here, we are looking at 103 degrees inside the van. That was with everything closed. I had the fans on, one intake, one exhaust, but still reached about 104. So it did drop a degree. So whew, having a chill through here. <laughs> All right. So today we're going to start working on the uh, water tank and get that all plumbed in, hook up the pump and all of our water lines. And I don't have all of the fittings, but I think we have enough that we can uh, start testing things out. And uh, yeah, we'll get that going. So if you want to see how I do it and make it work, stick around. Well, before we uh, start getting uh, on our water tank, I thought I'd go ahead and show you our little fan back here. So we have an intake, and this is our exhaust, and that is for our uh, refrigerator behind this wall, which is inside this cabinet. And currently, uh, it's off. It's been off for a few days, but because the thermostat kicks on at 100, uh, that fan started working. So. I was curious whether or not it actually worked. And uh, well, this dispels my curiosity. So that is working and like it should. And I don't know if I can, yeah, I can feel air drawing in. Nice cool air coming out. So that works. And if the cooler was on, it would exhaust the heat from the uh, cooler. I did run it for about a week kept everything closed and that fan never turned on once so uh, cooler doesn't generate that much heat ah, thought that was interesting thought I'd show it to you all right so this is going to be my setup so I have a pent air by SureFlow and uh, got the inline filter water direction is this way so this will be connected to our tank so I've got this fitting here which is going to run under and down to the bottom of our tank and for that I have a fitting here and then I have the hose inside the house which uh, so we're going to be running from the corner through a little hole up into our pump and hopefully uh, just a short reach and no leaks and then I've got this riser here 3 8 to half inch and this will connect once I, where I mount it, I'll loop this and it'll connect right in top of my fittings for the faucet. So that is gonna be mounted about right here. Like I said, it's gonna loop around. We'll tie into our fitting right here. So we have a hot and a cold. They're gonna be both tied into one because I don't have a hot water tank. And uh, at 101 degrees right now, I don't think I'm gonna need one. So <laughs> that'll work for me. All right, the only thing that uh, may be of a concern would be the weight here getting in the way of the pump and the line for our faucet. But we'll deal with that when that time comes. And I do have a plug somewhere here for this hole that we're going to plug up so our elbow is going to be down here we'll plug this hole this is going to be our fill so on the other end facing out is the same fittings like this on the back and, um, and because this is going to be so close to uh, the back I wouldn't be able to put a fitting and a wall and our um, water inlet all in the same spot without jerry rigging something so I'm glad that they did put a fill right here because I can put an elbow on this and run a hose straight back and into a inlet which <laughs> that worked out great so that's gonna that's gonna work for me so I think what I'm gonna do now get a tool so I can put this fitting in get some screws and go ahead and attach the pump to the wall 
and then secure our fittings here and then we'll worry about running a, a line down to uh, our tank. I don't want to get things permanent because I still have to figure a way to uh, keep this thing from sliding around. I know it's not going to slide too much when water gets in it, but inertia. You go around a corner and if it starts to move, it's just going to continue to move. So I do have some little angle uh, uh, aluminum, uh, inch and a half by inch and a half, I think, that I'll probably put in place, sort of like, sort of like what I have here. Put those on the back, a couple on the side, and one on the rear end, and that should keep it in place. And then I will secure it with straps, just like this, uh, against the wall, come down, and uh, eventually when I close this off, that'll be strapped to that, so that won't be going anywhere. All right, enough jibber jabber. It's time to uh, get in gear, and. Uh, I think I'll go in and get some water, some screws, tool, start working. Not gonna get done by itself. All right, so it's been a little while and uh, behind the scenes, I've been working away. It's finally cooled down a little bit. It's uh, 7.30 or 725 and it is 99 degrees. So uh, let me show you what I got done and we are about ready to start testing. So hang on. Okay, so as you can see, I do have my pump installed on the back wall. I do have my hose, which is currently just sitting in a bucket of water. And I do have my fittings to the faucet. And I have my wires run to the switch. So we can fire that up, see if it'll prime. I didn't uh, do anything with the tank. I don't have the tool to take out these fittings, so I'm gonna have to make a store run tomorrow. So, Right now we're going to flip the switch on this pump and uh, hope for no leaks. That's why I kind of got the towel back here just in case there's a drip or an explosion or something. So let's see what happens when we throw the switch. And turn on our faucet. Oop, here it goes. I'm throwing you all over the place here. Faucet's working. Right on. And it is now off. So now we check for leaks. Do we see any drippage? So far, so good. Pump is under pressure. I don't see any, any leaks here. That's a good sign. No leaks here. Good sign. Nothing here. Good sign. Oh man, leak free. That's what I'm talking about. Right on. And when I do pull down my faucet, does retract back fairly decent uh, out of the way so that's I think is gonna work I will probably get a clamp or two and just kind of clamp these hoses out of the way but uh, yeah all right let me try it again and uh, we'll button that thing up all right so I'm pretty happy that we got things hooked up and the pump works and we had no leaks and everything flows <laughs> like a waterfall. So what we do have left is this area here. So once I do get the connection here on the front, we'll stabilize this tank so it stays in place and we will end up strapping it down in a couple of places. And then here on the back, I will uh, place some sort of wall. And once I get the tool to remove this, I'll put a fitting in here. We'll run a vent tube through here and straight up and uh, kind of end it up here somewhere. I'm not worried about water rushing through there. I'm not gonna overfill this thing. And that'll keep it out of the way and give it some uh, good airflow. And like I said, back here in the back will be our water fill. So we can run that right up in here. 
and I just got to get the uh, type of water fill that I'm looking for. And like I said, I'll have a bulkhead here, so that water fill will be right there. Be a bulkhead here to close everything off. And I will probably have some opening here as an indicator with a light behind it to uh, show me how much water I have left. So that part is next. So I have to make a store run to get, grab those tools. Down here at the bottom, I'm thinking I'm gonna use the, uh, the smaller part here and put a shut off on it. That way it can drain the tank. I can put a hose fitting on here and uh, connect and drain the tank that way. The other solution would be just go ahead and fire up the uh, sink and let it drain that way and three gallons a minute, 28 gallons. Yeah, won't take very long to empty that tank uh, if I go that route. So that will be the next task. All right, so that's gonna be the end of this video. Yep, it's kind of short. I've been out here for uh, a bunch of hours and it has been a hot one. And tomorrow's supposed to be even hotter. I think uh, the remainder of the week we're gonna see temperatures up to about 107, 108. So that is gonna be pretty warm, but I do wanna get that tank connected and probably filled up at some point and give it a good thorough test. So I'm pretty happy that uh, at any given moment I could have running water in this thing. And uh, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. All right, well, what's taken me uh, hours and hours to make and uh, edit and everything, turn into a short video but uh, even at a 12-15 minute video people are only watching about six minutes worth so uh, no sense dragging it out to a half an hour or longer because nobody watches that long of a video anymore so all right onward ho we've got uh, we've got water pretty happy with that thanks for watching the video thanks for sticking it out and uh, Leave a comment or two. If something you saw that I may have missed, let me know, and uh, we'll see if we can't fix that. There's a lot, a lot brighter people out there than me. All right, with what I got, I'm pretty tickled with it, and it works, so I'm happy. All right, well, thank you, and uh, until next time, stay tuned.